Trying to learn Japanese? Get the lessons that are perfect for you. Click here to get your free lifetime account. Hi everybody, Hiroko here. Welcome to Ask a Teacher, where I'll answer some of your most common Japanese questions. The question for this lesson is, how do I use the nominalizers no and koto correctly? Both no and koto are nominalizers. That means they can turn other parts of speech into nouns. In many cases, you can use them interchangeably. For example, oyogu no ga suki desu. Oyogu koto ga suki desu. Both sentences mean I like to swim, and both are considered grammatically correct. So, how do you know when to use which one? Let's go over the rules so you can learn how to use no and koto correctly. Here are the cases where you need to use koto instead of no. 1. If the sentence ends with desu, da, or de-aru, you have to use koto. An example is, Kotoshi no mokyo wa shiken ni gokaku suru koto desu. This means my target of this year is to pass the exam. Here, the sentence ends with desu, so you need to use koto. Do you remember the sentence ending phrase no desu? You can use it to explain the reason or background of a situation as in densha ga okureta no desu, which means it's because the train was delayed. So, when you use the nominalizer before desu, you need to use koto instead of no. 2. You need to use koto if it's before fixed phrases such as routines, rules, or experiences, such as koto ni suru, to make it a rule to do something, or koto ga aru, meaning to have ever done something. You also use it before certain verbs such as koto ga kano da, to be possible to. Koto ga hitsuyo da, meaning to need to, and koto ni kimeru, meaning to decide to. Here's a situation where you need to use no instead of koto. 1. You'll need to use no for verbs that talk about perceptions like miru, mieru, meaning to see, or kiku, kikoeru, to hear. That's because the original meaning of koto is thing, so it's not appropriate to use when expressing perception. For example, tomodachi ga hanashite iru no ga kikoemashita, meaning I heard my friends talking. Here you're perceiving what you heard and it's not related to an object, so you need to use no. How was this lesson? If it's still a little confusing, make sure to check out japanesepot101.com for more practice. Do you have any more questions? Leave them in the comments below and I will try to answer them. Mata ne! See you!